Hello all, welcome, good evening, afternoon or morning wherever you're listening to That Peacock's podcast, technically episode one, lads. It is technically episode one, yeah. Last one was the pilot, so uh, we are here joined by the manager of Taunton. Firstly, let's let's go through the team, obviously. Uh, I'm Josh Perkins. Yeah, I'm I'm Jake from... I'm Dan Howe. And we are joined with the manager of Taunton Town Football Club, Rob Dre. How are we? I'm good. Good. I'm good. Nice. A little bit chilly. Yeah, it's very cool. So we're recording this um, just uh, sort of prior to the game against Pool Town um, at home. Very windy, very cold. Um, you've been out to record some TikToks, telling you, Jake? Yeah, I have. <laughs> yes. It's quite chilly, and it turns out I don't really fit into a medium shirt. Mm. Uh, but other than that, it was it was it was good fun. Good. Yeah. I, I, I like to think that uh, Rob got a good look and is probably thinking about getting We've got a space on the bench today, so we'll have a little chat afterwards. Oh, okay. Get some terms agreed. You've got the sign-on papers in the back pocket, <laughs> don't you? Um, so, right, let's start with, we do this with, oh, we're going to do this, I'm going to say we do this with all our guests, you're the first one. Um, we're going to do this with all our guests. What's your favourite food or drink, Rob, when you're stopping off at a services? There's a story behind this with, with old Jake Crump. Uh, it depends but... on it's Reading services is always very good. Right, yeah, you know, I've heard. non-league A to Z yeah. services. Reading's very good, so it's an M and S, a little dip, and they do like a satay dip, which is really good with chicken. M&S. That's very good. I wouldn't have pictured yeah. you as an M and S man. Well, if you go to Beaconsfield, again, yeah. that's another level of mm. services, so you have a real big choice. So they do a Nando's. There's all sorts of things there. So. Nando. I'm looking forward to the Beaconsfield away. Yeah, in January. Yeah, yeah. Beaconsfield is actually across the road. Yes, <laughs> that's true. Lads, any any thoughts on that's the on the sensational? <laughs> I do question. How much kept spending you for, uh, <laughs> for, for an MS? I just say that. It's not that much, I'll believe me. Uh, Jay, yours is a uh, uh, Southern Comfort, no? Well, it depends, doesn't it? It depends. If you come in, then that was a big day for me, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah a first away day that I'd come along with as tour. It's first game of the season, away to Hazen Yedding. Yeah, I turned up, found out that I was at the shooting location of one of my favourite TV shows mm. and got a bit excited. Felt like um, that, so for it. Yeah. And then we lost, and I <laughs> suddenly didn't feel too great no. anymore. So a little Southern Comfort lime and lemonade was just what I needed just to just to pick myself up was a little bit. One for the ladies. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> what are your thoughts on that Southern Comfort lime for the ladies? The yeah. ladies used to drink it when back in the late eighties, early nineties when right. I was a boy doing my bit. What was it, what was your bit growing up in the sort growing of up, Yeah, yeah. Oh, we used to they used to be a taunt cider used to do a bottled cider. It was a white cider called Diamond White. Right. And it was rocket fuel. Yeah, it's a little bit Frosty Jack type sort of thing okay. like that. Wow, dangerous stuff. <laughs> dangerous stuff. So, yeah, that was one of many okay. formative um, years. <clears throat> now, you you seem to do a lot of media you know, things here, at Rob. Um, a question that a lot of, I see a lot of managers maybe aren't asked or answer, you know, um, do you enjoy doing the media as a manager? Is that, are, are, we, are we sort of an inconvenience yes no. sometimes? Yes or? no, you, you accept it in this day and age, it's, it's very much part and parcel. And I always think that you guys have brought another level to, to our media and, and we're at the forefront. Now if you look in the last 12 months, there's, everybody's doing what we're doing. Mm. Everybody's doing what we're doing. And yes, it has its ups and downs and it's not the nicest thing to go out when you just lost, but it has to be done. You know, I'm a firm believer. There's a lot of managers this league saying, no, I'm not going out there, we just lost. That's not good enough. Yeah. That's not good enough. That's, that's not the way that I like to operate. So, yeah, listen, it, it has its good and bad moments. There's no doubt about that. But it is, it is part of it. And listen, you guys make it relatively enjoyable in a lot of respects. <laughs> I, mean, I was going to mention that, obviously, uh, uh, you find a lot of managers will happily step out when you win. But mm. for you, it's, even when we lose, it's, you're still there answering the questions. It's I mean, important. It's great credit. It's important for everybody, you know. It's important. And I, I mean, I remember losing at Weymouth. Obviously, when Lee was manager, you stepped out and you did the did the interview when you know everyone sort of well heads dropped. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's um, important. You, you know, you still got to give. It's, it's not for, just for support. It's for everybody. You know, it, it, to, for the for the board, for the players, for, for everybody. You, you've got to be consistent. It shows a level of consistency in, in what you're doing. And football's always the long term game, you know. And then that's one of the things that applies to. Me. Mm. Um, I mean, so let's start with, uh, I suppose, your playing career, uh, if we can call it as such. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, so what's, what's been both your best and worst experience as a player? Uh, as a player? Yeah. Um, you, know, I, I was, you know, I didn't really play a great stand, if I'm being honest. You know, I played a lot of county. I played for Bridgewater Town Reserves for yeah. quite, quite a few years. And I took the choice to go and play local with my mates, you know, you know it was, which it was... It was uh, that was the done thing back in the in the nineties. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Um, 
so in that respect, it was good, but I had some great times because everybody lived within the town, and, and it was very local, and it's very social, and we had some, we, there some good players, and we had some great times. We won a lot of trophies, lower, lower league trophies, and cup finals, and all those bits and pieces. Mm. So I was lucky in that respect. It wasn't a great level, you know, but you know, and that's why when I when I started managing, I'm one of these people who is probably a better manager, touch wood, than. Uh, than I have been a player, yeah. you know, and I think I proved that. If you look, my 150 games managing this, you know, we're about 75% with a positive record, 25% losses. So that sort of proves it. Um, and I always wanted to be that, and and that's where, you know, I'm, you know, I'm quite driven in a lot of respects. You know, you know, it's a very small percentage of people who who can do this job, run their own business, and and still have some sort of life because it's getting more and more all-consuming. You know, it's as football grows, the club grows, and it's, it's, it's very, very consuming. Mm. I, mean, I was thinking player career, and then I instantly thought of uh, both yours and my experience at the lowest level possible. I, I'm sorry to bring this up. Um, University Centre Somerset. Yeah. <laughs> I, th- I think I, I think I played two games. I didn't start either of them. Uh, we were against Gloucester Fourths. We lost. Um, although we did win a cup match against. Um, Oh, I can't remember. The, uh, was it Winchester University? Winchester on pens. I think <laughs> that was it. I, I didn't there. take one. Um, so you know, oh, that's yeah. my limited. Like coming on for twenty minutes in two games, and uh, that's about my ah, listen, playing I think, experience. I think what you find you do find some people do you know, aren't the greatest players. I was okay. I was average. You know, and, but I managed to win a lot of league titles in some sort of county Premier League and Western League and that sort of thing and mm. right, blowing the leaves off the pitch yeah I was going to say so, like, some people going to go and uh, shut the door sounds like somebody's kickstarting a motorbike it does yeah. do, you, do you feel as if it, it wasn't for sort of playing alongside your mates it would have been a case of playing at a higher level uh, yes I did I definitely I could have played at a higher level you know I had a few offers you know not huge amounts but I actually went to Miner for a very short spell when they were in the Western when they were flying in the Western League Prem yeah. and uh, you know I was getting properly paid for football and it was you know I was only sort of your guys age and it was, it was fantastic but the money went and then I went back to Bridgewater and that's you know there was a lot of people you know it's, it's a different animal these days have you called Bridgewater your home sort of ever since you were young or have you lived in sort of other places uh, well I, I, I just villages outside you right, know, yeah. Paddington I live in Spaxton now which is you know beautiful beautiful rural you know I love I'm a, I'm a village lad like you know yeah. I like the rural I like, I like the country I'm a nature boy you like your walks, don't you? I like my walks. I like my nature. You know, I like, I like country. It's, it's it's good for your mind. It's good for your soul. Like, you yeah, know, I do like. It. I'm not gonna like this. Uh, that leaf blowing. It will stop soon, but uh, it's quite off point. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, we can't, you know, do anything about it. Unfortunately, we, we, we've got new mics. Yeah, so we can't ask for too much. We've had a little bit of budget, but we can't say stop blowing. Like yeah, exactly. We've got no podcast. Yeah, we don't really have a say around here. Not currently, anyway. I mean, what was the what, what was the decision on going into management? Did you feel it was the step you wanted to take, or was there something that it, an event that happened? Yeah, you know? it was an event that happened really and truly. Um, Craig Laird was running the reserves at Bridgewater, and uh, there was a natural progression for him to go and manage the first team. And they were in a similar sort of position to Taunton. They had some really good players, and they were doing really well. And I carry on being player manager for sort of two or three years, and, and played and managed, you know. And, Took the reserves. We had a really good group, and we won three cups and four leagues, and and it's sort of, you sort of fell, fell into it. You sort of felt you had a little bit of an aptitude to it, and then you learn about it, and then it's and then it's just a constant learning process. You know, so you, I did fall into it to a degree, and then after Craig left to go to Western, um, he took all the players, quite understandably, because they were a great group, and that gave me the opportunity to go and then manage the first team virtual in, in the Southern League South and West. And, and there you go, sort of 10, 11 years ago, that's what, here we are. Yeah. How was it, um, you say, you know, you've been that, that sort of um, role for about 10, 11 years. Um, the past two have been, I'm sure, quite difficult for, for, for all managers. How was it during I mean, I, yeah, the pandemic? Yeah, incredible, incredibly difficult, incredibly difficult to manage in so many ways. Um, so few games, not really knowing where you are. Mm. Recruitment is always key. It's probably the biggest thing which is part of my remit. Um, yeah, it's been very difficult. Mm. It's been difficult keeping people motivated, getting people fit, people coming back after a year or so out and then getting injured and our, our mm. injuries are well documented. It's been the hardest hardest time of my uh, you know, managerial career. Yeah. That's 15 years ago back when we were two reserves and that's been 
it's been incredibly hard. It's been incredibly yeah, hard. It, it, it's you know. And I'm it, not alone in saying that sort of thing. You know, I speak to a lot of managers on the circuit. I'm one of those guys who who, who knows a lot of people and makes a lot of connections. And and everybody's in the same. Everybody's in the same way. Everybody yeah. feels the same. You know, everybody feels a little little bit burnt out, a little bit jaded, and, and, yeah. and we're only sort of. Everybody feels we've had 40 games when we've only had 20. Mm. So yeah, it's, it's it's been tough to manage, but you, know, you, you, you kick on though. You don't really dig cool. it. Um, so moving from your player career, as as you mentioned, you know, it's sort of as uh, it's quite a nice segue towards best and worst experiences as a manager. You don't have to go too in depth, obviously, for the sake of the Southern I League. But worst, I think worst was when we we just pips the post by way. Yeah. Uh, we've done so well we, we were fantastic that year um, it's incredible when you look back now how, how much of an achievement it was in this division you realise how hard how incredibly hard to get out of this league it is you know with 7, 8, 9, 10 teams all with good resource centres all good clubs most have been to the, uh, the, the National League and, and that was really really disappointing when we, we've done so well you know when we were so so close mm. but there's been so many fantastic highlights and as a manager you probably you get a lot more lows than you do highs, but the highs will always keep keep shining in the back of your head because that's the ones yeah. you remember. So, you know, and you've got to keep those, you know, so otherwise it, it does beat you up with yeah. all the lows. That was the uh, year that, did we lose to Paul on penalties? Was that the one? Because that was the season that I joined. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, I remember commenting on that game. That I just, yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was it. Looking at that season, um, Lee leaving quite early in the season, did you expect to be stepping up into that manager role, or was it something that you? No, I mean, I, I, not really. I mean, <laughs> you know, it's more that I wanted to do it. There's no doubt about it. But obviously, there, there, had, there had to be some due diligence made while other people came in and, and everything. But we had, we had momentum from the season before as well, which is massive. And there was a good group at that time, you know, with Ryan and Shane and Rocky and all those boys and Ryan Brett. You know, so there was a, there was good momentum at that time. So, and sometimes momentum is a massive thing in football. Regardless of the levels, you know you see it now. You know when teams get promoted, and they carry on again. They keep going. Add one or two, and keep going again. You get used to winning. It's a big habit. Yeah. Look like at Weymouth, you know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, fantastic achievement. Yeah, uh, monumental achievement. Yeah. Monumental achievement. I mean, with the um, obviously getting the manager role eventually, there was a few candidates that came mm. up against you. Was it ever a case of? You would have stayed and sat sort of back again and sort of uh, potentially. I mean, there wasn't really a conversation about that, but yeah, potentially. Um, you know, hopefully one stage when I'm a little bit older, then I, I might be a, head, a proper head of football here, where I can Just sit back sit a little back. bit and, and, and watch the new guy come in and be not a conduit to London every week. exactly not <laughs> to be in London every weekend. You know, and, and that's something for the future. But no. It wasn't really talked about at that time, and I was hungry to do it. You know, I was hungry to do it, improve myself again in the level above. I've been at Biddeford for three years, an assistant there. I've been at Bridgewater for three years in, in the South and League, uh, South League South and West. So to come and do this, you know, and improve myself again in the league above, it was massive for me personally. I mean, it, the week you got the um, the full time role, shall we say, was the week of the Villa Ricky game. Um, mm-hmm. What was it like going into that, knowing you've just been given, Brilliant. given the full reins? It was, you know. it was an unbelievable experience. I walked out. I know Dean Brennan, um, who's now the manager at uh, Barnet, and uh, we walked out on the pitch, and he told me what his budget was. It was a million quid for the year, and there was us, and we were fantastic that day. You know, we were very unfortunate not to win. And then we come down, and that's one of the outstanding moments of my, you know, with Billericay here against Billericay at home. We were there, were really good, and, but we didn't quite do it on the night. Did you tell Matt Wright to take the penalty? No, I did not. He would have had the penalty by my way. <laughs> Who was going to take it? We wanted Brett to take it. I think he might have been off. He, he was suspended. Suspended. Yeah. That's right. Brett normally takes them. Rocky had been sent off, and possibly at that yeah. point. Yeah. Mm. So it wasn't many, but he, he wanted to do it. So you know, eight out of ten times, if somebody wants to do it, they will score. Mm. But not in that case. I mean, <laughs> Wouldn't have had Lloyd after his penalty against Truro. No, absolutely not. <laughs> I think they're still trying to find. I think they're, yeah, they're still flying out somewhere. Yeah, yeah. someone's still recovering in hospital from it. Exactly. Well. Yeah, yeah, still trickling down the M5 now. Like yeah, it, it's crazy that that record has actually just been. Bit. So yeah. going back to the, yeah, the penalty right. shootout, that record's just been beaten by. I can't remember what team it is. It's um, a county cup game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's, it's bonkers. You know, sat watching that. What was your thoughts going through, through that penalty shootout? I mean, it's a League Cup game. I wouldn't say it was the most critical game to win or lose in that situation. It, it isn't, but you, once you're in it, once you're here, 
and you all make the effort you want to win. Mm. I want to win every game. You know, every game you want to win. You're not going to win every game. Mm. We're going to lose football matches. We're a football club. But once you're here, I want to win. And everyone that took, I want to win. That's got to be scored. That's got to be scored. And it's, so it's, you know, it's madness. That's the thing, isn't it? Like with, with uh, for example, that kind of, you know, League Cup and things like that, maybe fans um, and, and potentially players, I'm not quite sure, take that as a bit of a, oh, you know, it's not the league. It's just, a, it's, no, it's another one of those cups. But then, as you say, when you, when you get on the pitch and you're like, right, no, actually, I want to win this. Do you, do you feel that like you have that mentality with, with every game that I, you go through? Yeah, I certainly do. Know that's, certainly when I was playing as well, that's all I want to do. Mm. Just not because I like winning. At least, yeah. was, that, that was the thing. Yeah. Winning, I like winning. And that was the be all and end all of it. So it didn't matter what, what cup it was. I, I was never one of those going, I just keep myself right for Saturday. Mm. It was all or nothing. And because I was that type of player who couldn't switch off mm. and was probably better at stopping other people playing than actually playing myself, that's the way I played. Okay. Like maximum effort, not enough quality. <laughs> what was what was the um, the atmosphere like? I mean, in the dressing room after when you came yeah. out, it was good. It was, know, good. It's, yeah, it was good. It was good. One of those. Yeah, a few it? young lads as well. It was all a bit ramming head like stuff, but it was good. I mean, a lot of people forget Lewis Hall scored straight from a corner that night. Mm-hmm. I mean, it wasn't until I sat back and watched the highlights after or anything. Oh, yeah. that happened. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah madness. Don't remember too much before. No, before neither the I. Out to be fair, after you said it. Though. <laughs> then, yeah, no. You mentioned the goals in the shootout, but I can't remember the scoreline of the actual game in ninety minutes. Two, two, wasn't it? Two, 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 yeah. Was it? He scored an equaliser. Was it the like equaliser? Yeah. yeah. Your memory's very good. Yeah, yeah. that's good. Not very mine. Oh yeah, well. Yeah, it's, it's, it's that thing of you know all the memories you have in your head are just all taught in town. I feel. Yeah, it is <laughs> now. It does feel like it. Um, so interest outside of football then Rob I know you know you mentioned about switching off uh, it being as well November it's a bit cliche to say but it is men, uh, Men's Mental Health Month um, what and I know I asked you this previous uh, just just post the uh, Gosport game where we won 2-1 um, what do you do to switch off what kind of thing you know boxing I know you're into uh, that so. you listen I'm heavily into my gym I've lost a couple of stone in the last year or so congratulations well done and, uh, you know that was quite important for me I try and run a little bit now. Lots of strength training. Mm. I, like I said, I touch on the boxing and do that to keep fit. Yeah. Punch in the head and occasionally. <laughs> I'm not very good at it. <laughs> 52, you're not going to be. So yeah, there's there's all those things. I've got, got, I got a Rhodesian Ridgeback dog and you know, a couple of boys who play sport as well. Mm. You know, my sons are 25 and, and eight, 17, 18 now. So you know, they play a lot of sports. So yeah, you can watch, watch them when I can. So yeah. And then, you know, obviously I'm quite busy with my business as well, so cool. there's, there's always plenty to do. Yeah, how, how is the, the business going? Is it, was it mid, mid-summer yeah, so catering hire? Yeah, we have an event hire company, so it's been, it's been a tough couple of years, really difficult, but, yeah. um, but we got through it hopefully, and we'll get through this next three months, and then the winter, get the winter out of the way, and then sell, sell us Christmas trees. Yeah, sell us yeah. Christmas trees, the trees are going well. <laughs> More, more of a fan of a, a fake tree or a real tree, Rob? Oh, real, real trees. Real trees, okay. Yeah, you can't beat that smell. Especially Pres- the newer ones. Especially the, new, yeah. the newer ones are like, very good. They don't swap. Well, yeah. And I mean, Christmas shopping, how, how are you Never. currently? Never? Absolutely no. No? Is it, is it a Christmas I'm a bloke from the 80s and 90s. Yeah. I, I don't do that. Christmas okay. Eve's Amazon Prime. Absolutely. Yeah, Amazon. Amazon. Yeah. Next day delivery. Best That's thing ever. Yeah. Oh, when brilliant. is it okay to start listening to Christmas music? Oh, wow. About a month ago, I love Christmas. Really? Yeah, early, yeah. start of November. Heart Christmas came on. Bang, it's on. And I would have put you as a December first kind of guy. Yeah, no, like, no. As soon as it comes on, as soon as Heart Christmas is on, flick. Yeah, wow. it's on. There you go. It's what's good enough for me. What's your favourite Christmas song? Pogues. Oh, it's, it's classic. Oh, it's classic. It's got to be unpopular opinion. I don't like that song. Oh. Sorry. That is unpopular. You're, seven you're seven the Christmas, Elton John. You're the I, man of a radio. Yeah. The radio. Yeah. Do you get fed up? Of Christmas songs, no, okay. not at all. No, um, can, can you? No, exactly. They're, they're... Listening to songs mm. on the radio, has there ever been a song you've got fed up of because it's been played a lot? Uh, it happens all the time. Okay. Like, all the like whatever, whatever we play on rotation. Um, I currently hate the new Adele song. Okay. Easy on me. I think it's awful, but it's because I've heard. <laughs> It's very much like that. was beautiful. Yeah. yeah. I thought that was beautiful. <laughs> I was a cap. <laughs> yeah, so that one, I, that one I don't like. Um, there's a new Joy Crook song, Wish You Were Mine. I'm not a fan of that. I was when it came out. I'm not a fan anymore because I work in radio. I, just, I listen to it all the time. It's annoying. Yeah. Don't like I mean, it. What's, what's your type of music taste? Oh, I'm very eclectic. I'm it, here we go. Music now, go what was the last you. song you were listening to? Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, Grime? Yeah. Stormzy? No. no, okay. Um, I'll tell you, it was actually. It was. Um, Is it going to tell a lot about your character, Rob? It was the uh, Rolling Stones. Oh, oh. Stones. Oh. That, that checks. Mother's out. Little Helper. 
Oh, Stones. that's a great, yeah, great song. Uh, but a lot of 80s, Talking Heads, Depeche Mode, it's very, very all over the I place. I couldn't find moments. Depeche Mode. Brilliant. Uh, bit of Clapton, not a very nice person, but good music. Big Country, New Wave Essentials, Dire Straits, mm. Tears of Light like, goes on. That's proper 80s. Lionel Richie, Billy Ocean, Meatloaf. We didn't start the fight. Duran Duran. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. there ain't, there's not much uh, playlist I use most of all is oh where is it where's my running playlist Iron Maiden Essentials Mutt Motang Bit of Prince Spandau Battle oh, it goes on it goes on yeah that's, oh. that's proper Tom 80s Fender. Man. Tom Fender yeah he's up to date he's this yeah. yeah he's this era is he related to Sam Fender oh, the my new it might be it might be him actually. No, Tom Petty and Sam Fender. Ah, okay, there we are. They're not related. Tom, Tom Fender. No. Um, <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, <laughs> Sam Fender's great. I, I love his music. He's alright. Yeah, yeah. Josh, um, do you know what the last song you listened to was? Where's was my phone? Oh, it's, 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 it's a backup recording. I tell you for a fact, the last thing I listened to, and this is, you're going to love this. <laughs> That's sensational. No way. Is the it? last thing that I listened to was a 10 minute video uh, called One Man Lay Miz. And it is a video on YouTube of this one guy who sings every part of like a little medley of songs from Les Mis. It's it's incredible yeah. because he's a, he just it's if you shut your eyes and listen to it, he sounds like a woman. It blows. <laughs> yeah. Right. Been, uh, I'm four minutes fifteen into Africa by Toto. <laughs> four minutes fifteen. Surely that surely that song's got to end. Uh, yeah. So it's on a playlist called Karaoke Claps. That's great. Uh, mine is. Uh, quite uh, it's different um, it? No Love Summer Walker and Scissor so that's quite up to date Never um, no exactly so I'm I, uh, I'm very into my hip hop and um, sort of R&B music so uh, Give you on I mean Grime and all that sort of stuff be it Skepta Dave Stormzy anything like that I'm I'm on it that's quite serious stuff Serious, yeah. I'm not a serious person, to be fair. So I don't know. I don't know anything about that music. But no. When I first found out that there was a recording artist known as Dave. Yeah. I just, I love that. Yeah. Oh, Santan really? Dave. You got this person, this person. Oh, yeah, I'm Dave. No, no, Dave. I'm going to see him in um uh, February I'm at uh, Bournemouth, and okay. then Stormzy the month after. So. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. I'll tell him you. Uh, yeah. I, you know. <laughs> anyway, so um. Rob, you're into your boxing. If there was yeah. one player that you think would be a good fight against you in the squad, it's a good matchup. 50-50. Or how many have tried? <laughs> I mean, I know you do pre-season. Try. Uh, pre-season, pre-season would take them up. Mm. Um, actually, to be fair, a lot of them were, were good. Like you know, they did they did give it all. Benno's strong boy, mm. strong boy. He took it very seriously. Yeah, yeah, punches hard. And, um, all of them really did. They, they were pretty good. But yeah, I don't want to fight them. My days are gone for that. <laughs> Unless you really have to. <laughs> Favourite fighter at the moment, Rob? Currently in the boxing or mixed martial arts world at all? I would say I like, really like Ryan Garcia. Obviously Canelo is fantastic. Yeah, always is. Tia Puma Lopez. Um, but Crawford is yeah. sensational. Or was it last weekend? Last this? weekend, yeah. yeah he's, he's probably the pound for pound for me at the moment. But yeah, that's interesting. Great, great are you a uh, fan of Jake Paul? No, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, listen. Don't get me wrong. He's absolutely. He's brought boxing to the front line. Yeah, I, I, I've seen quite a few young pros in their early twenties who grind it out for no money, selling tickets, and I see what they go through. And they could come down to the gym at Western, and they pull his pants down left, right, yeah. centre. That's the thing. That, but he yeah. has given it a platform. That's 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 generally, that is. Yeah. But that's the, that's that's the argument, isn't it? With, with a lot of um, boxing purists, they say, they say exactly that that you have a lot of younger guys that fight for pretty much no money Nothing. or on a on a Nothing. very little stage, beat up. exactly, beat up. and don't get the recognition that someone like Jake Paul, uh, Jake Paul gets. And yeah. from a marketing standpoint, the Phenomenal. kid's a genius. Phenomenal. Um, and I hate to say that because I hate the guy, but that's exactly it. Is Jake Paul wants you to hate him? I feel. Of course yeah. he does. He, yeah. he knows exactly. Yeah. What he's yeah. Doing. I mean, I, I don't have much knowledge of boxing. I nearly started boxing. Obviously, I've recently done the money for Dad's um, arm. Brilliant. And this is something where me and Josh started talking yeah. about after uni, where I was going to make a documentary where I, quite unfit, was going to learn how to box, get fit, and the documentary would end on a charity night where I go and presumably get... Well, that's UK BCC, yeah. Yeah. And um, 
So we were going to do that, but uh, whilst I was doing that, we went to, I don't know if you, you may know, he's a local lad, lives on High Street, Paul Roberts, um, a boxer who fights in court, and he just, his last fight was called off a couple of weeks ago, and mm. someone dropped out. And I sort of went there, had a couple of beers with my dad, I was, I was watching the boxing, and I was like, that's, uh, <laughs> ooh, that's, that's scary. Yeah. And then uh, was, hard. Yeah. after lockdown, I thought, eh, well, we'll give it another go. I, you know, I could always do with being more fit. And I went to a PT session, um, left it a bit late, because I was watching Loki, and it ran oh, yeah. a bit, so I had to run, forgot a bottle of water, forgot to bring my own gloves with me, so I had nothing. Uh, and I died. <laughs> I said, oh, I was about 15 minutes to walk from the end, and I um, looked the guy in the eyes, I said, mate, I've got to go. <laughs> and he was like, you're right. And I was like, <laughs> shaking like anything. I was like, nothing, I, nothing I like need it. to no, be. like it. For fitness, and that's maybe what I did before. Like, you know, it does, it is different level. It does give you the insight into a different world, there's no mm. doubt about it. Tough, tough boys. Yeah, tough lads. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I've recently signed up to a gym, uh, so that's going relatively well. I'd like to say uh, it's pure gym and bridge water. Consistency. Yeah, I go sort of every other day. Um, okay, fair enough. No, no, problem. Problem. no problem. Thank you very much. We got games on it. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> Thank you, Rob. Appreciate your time. That is uh, that's Rob Dre. That's the first episode. Pretty much out the way. Done. Um, <laughs> Lads, anything you want to add? To, uh, sort out his team news, and yeah. I'll have to follow in a minute. Sort out said team news. Yes, exactly. But, but I mean, what we didn't get my chat about being the uh, extra round on the bench. We we'll have to get. No, him. well, yes. that would be done after. That would be done off there. We'll have to get him back on at some point. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot. So, a lot to be left unsaid. Yeah, unsaid. definitely. He he did literally scoot off. Um, but anyway that has been the first episode of that Peacocks podcast if you enjoyed obviously give us a, a was it a five star review on Apple Podcasts make sure to it's a follow on Spotify That's subscribe it. on Apple Music subscribe to Peacocks TV on YouTube um, we are ranked 10 out of 10 on YouTube for the uh worst of the yeah worst, worst of the last yeah, 10 videos worst of the performing videos in the way yeah, that they so 10 10th. But there's, it's only up from there. It's only up from there. We can only get better. Exactly. I mean, obviously big credit to um, those with the money that have purchased the... <laughs> yeah, the no, market. absolutely. Um, I love that. We, we should do the little shout out. Obviously, Kev's reached into his pockets so yes. and he's got some uh, microphones. So hopefully the podcast has sounded a little bit nicer than it did last mm. week. Um, we're obviously aiming to make sure that we can bring a good production value to everything that we do as part of the media team. I just hope my Adele rendition sounded okay on that. I'm sure it did. I think it sounded lovely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've got Rob to join in, but there we are. So, yeah. Guys, just quickly before we go, go on. let's do our little not sponsor, sponsor spot. Yeah. Uh, which we've decided uh, we're going to uh, shine a light on the Taunton Town Club shop. Over yes, the next couple of, of course weeks. we have. Um, it's a little bit chilly today. It is. So when we wrap up here, I'm going to go and make a purchase. Go on. I'm going to go and buy myself a nice new Taunton Town hat. Oh, brilliant. A nice little bobble hat. Yeah. Uh, Love them. So, so that's, that's going to be my item for 12 of the week. Pound, the bobble hat is a fantastic. Um, it's a fantastic. <laughs> Why did you pick up the microphone? <laughs> Why did you pick up the microphone? It's fantastic. Well, really. it's fantastic. <laughs> it's Are a you doing it like a purchase? Um, for 12 quid, I mean, it's a very good. I've got one here somewhere. Un- unfortunately, I left mine. Um, the benefit of the audio, he does have one. He does actually have a bubble uh, hat on here. It's fantastic. The bubble's good. The f- um, material's good. I've had it for a long time. Uh, the badge is quite nice on it. It's quite a strong, sturdy thing. Scarf as well. Scarf would be recommended. Yeah. Um, they've got brand new calendars for 2022. Obviously, not not really useful until 2022. Yeah. Why not get one now? I mean, this is coming out after and the pool game. Ready. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, this is ready. this is coming out after the pool game. So. I mean, it wasn't that pool game windy. You should need a bobble hat it and a was, scarf. It was a very windy game. I mean, look at the back here. We're, we're the fact that we just scored 15 points. It's unbelievable, <laughs> isn't it? I mean, you if we didn't, it. that was a tough loss. Tough, yeah, tough performance, I mean, yeah, yeah. So or, you can choose which one actually happened. Because it's last. also league football. Good draw. Good, good draw, good draw. Good draw. Uh, we'll, we'll take that, we'll go into oh, Tuesday. After the games on the road, we are back at home at the Ottoman on Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> Against Western Supermare. We are indeed, yeah. Join us for that. Yeah. Join us back. Well, anyway, I'm Dan. I'm Jake. I'm Josh. That is that Peacocks podcast. We'll speak to you very soon. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.